3D printing can be used to produce small batches of products so you can launch right on time. By optimizing the workflow with our first Ultimaker 3s, we improved on our own product design and significantly reduced the time to market. We're currently at the uh, premises Sol Bommel, where we assemble the Ultimaker 3. We're assembling here for the European market and rest of the world. One of the things that we did is that um, this filament has actually been equipped uh, with a tag. And in the tag it identifies the material. This allows us to uh, tell the machine directly what the filament is. And that helps the machine to immediately determine the settings particularly uh, designed for that material. Now that isn't uh, something small, we have about 300 settings, so it's a big deal. It really improves the throughput time for prototyping, for developing new prints. But what we learned then is that we plan to have the antenna in the machine. And the antenna wasn't capable of reading the tech. So what we had to do then was equip the reel holder with uh, the antenna. But then it was very obvious to us that we wouldn't be able to produce a sufficient number before the launch date, let alone for the beta period. We simply couldn't accept that we would delay the launch uh, until February, March. That would uh, take us another five months. So what we did is we decided to have the Ultimaker 3 print their own reel holders. The first machines that we actually produced, the Zero Series, they were immediately collected into a print farm, and the print farm allowed us to produce such a number that we were actually able, first of all, to start the beta testing in time, and we were able to provide the reel holders for the first number of machines. The print farm is easy to manage and can be maintained and supervised by just one person. Ultimaker 3's connectivity feature allows you to print wirelessly and monitor the process via a live camera. With a total of 28 3D printers, we could produce 700 spool holders for the first customers in less than four weeks. With everything set, we could achieve a print success rate of over 86%, and our shop floor operators have calculated an average of 92% of uptime. How? First, the right material choice. Ultimaker 3s lets you print using two different types of materials, a build material and a support material. In our print farm, we use black PLA and water-soluble PVA. After the print is complete, to speed up the production and post-processing, the operator removes big blocks of PVA support structures, manually or using pliers. To dissolve the remaining PVA, we put the parts in a bath under 30 degrees Celsius with water pumps. We can leave the parts there overnight, then the next morning dry them and do the final quality check before assembly. So it's actually a wonderful idea that the first reel holders that come with this machine are actually the ones that the machine produced itself. Had we not been able to produce the reel holder with the Ultimaker 3 itself, no doubt we would have to postpone another half year. So we're pretty proud that we actually did that. We delivered the redesigned reel holder on time, at low production cost. Using the print farm proved that Ultimaker 3's was accurate and reliable, and delivered consistent quality prints even before the official launch. If you purchase one of the first Ultimaker 3s, you'll receive the 3D printed spool holder. The injection molded version will be supplied shortly after. Thanks to Bridge Manufacturing and Ultimaker 3's high performance, you can start using your Ultimaker now.